What's going on you guys? Today is a very, very special day and that is because it is new camera day and I'm so, so excited. Maybe you're excited as well. Maybe you got a new job. Maybe you got a raise. Maybe you got a promotion or just maybe you got a new camera. That is the reason why I am super excited because in this box right here is the brand new GH5 Panasonic Lumix. Nice. I don't actually know why I'm still talking, so let's just get this box opened up. Vlog life. And here we have it. First impressions. This is the box that's that. First impressions. It's actually a really small box, surprisingly. I always feel like if this sellotape, you've got to use a knife just because it looks way more professional. So let's get this thing opened up. I feel like I'm being very aggressive with this camera. I don't think you're meant to treat a really expensive piece of kit like this, like that. I like the way it falls over, although it is a bit fiddly. Right, so as soon as you open it up, this is what you face with. Some paper, your instruction manual. I probably won't ever be reading that. Strap, and here it is, the camera I'm assuming. Well, of course, I'm not assuming, I know it's the camera because it's obviously a camera. So there it is, this is the Panasonic Lumix GH5. It's quite nice. It's got a weird like rain effect on it. I don't know if you can see that, but screen, nice, you can twist that around. We've got a wire to charge it, a three piece wire because obviously I'm in Britain and this is what we use over here. Hello. We've got a USB-C cable. I don't know if you can see that. The autofocus is dreadful. USB-C. What else do we have in here? We have an adapter thing, a little piece of kit. Interesting, not sure exactly what that is. I think that's to attach a microphone, maybe. I'm not sure. This is everything that you're gonna get. The camera, charger, battery, wires, cables, whatever this is, and your neck piece thing. I have absolutely no idea what anything is right here. If you came to this video for all the technical stuff, like all the technical gizmos and the techniques and everything else, this is not the video for that. This is literally just a first impressions video. I'm super new to cameras. This is my first DSLR. DSLR? Is it a DSLR? I don't even know if it's a DSLR. Is this... I started my YouTube channel using an iPhone. My iPhone, I think it was a 7 Plus at the time, which is crazy because only less than a year later, I've gone to spending literally over a thousand pounds for this piece of kit. The reason I actually got this is because this is more of a B-roll camera. When I'm away on holiday and I'm in various different places, I do feel a little bit limited on my point and shoot, which is my Canon G7X Mark III, which is what I've been using for the last six months now, maybe? Five months? I do have a very love-hate relationship with the Canon G7X. I'm currently shooting this video on the G7X Mark III right now. However, there are some things that I absolutely hate about this camera. The camera always overheats. It lasts about a minute, a minute and a half shooting in 4K until it overheats. And also, as you can probably see, the autofocus is pretty dreadful on this camera. It's really annoying that, you know, I'll just be talking to the camera. I'm assuming it's because of all my hand movements that it just confuses the camera and it probably confuses everybody else that watches these videos because why is this lunatic moving his hands around all the time like this? But the autofocus kind of just ruins the professionalism of the video, especially when you're trying to tell a story and you're trying to get that special moment. And I come back in post to actually look over all the footage and like 90% of that whole shot is out of focus. And that has been my experience with the G7X. But if you guys would like me to do a full in-depth review of my experience having shot with the G7X Mark III, maybe you're interested in vlogging, maybe you're just interested in cameras altogether and you wanna get my perspective. If you wanna see that video, let me know in the comment section below. Whilst I'm in lockdown, I could do that video for you guys. So that is why I have moved up to this. I don't wanna feel limited anymore with the content that I produce. And it also allows you to get loads 
and loads of interchangeable lenses and this is actually the first lens that I got as well and it is the 14 to 140. It's a zoom lens, that's all I know about the lens. I really don't know much about cameras. This is going to be a real learning experience. Like between you and me, I have absolutely no idea what aperture is, shutter speed and what's the other one? Is it expo- no it's not exposure. There's one more thing. I think it's on here, is it this? ND? Now, in addition to that, I also bought a second battery. I think that was about £70. I can't actually remember how much that was. And I purchased this. My first gimbal was the DJI Osmo Mobile. And that is gimbal that I actually used to shoot all the stuff in Thailand. And my experience with the gimbal was actually so much fun. It was actually a Christmas present from my dad. And I didn't really use it all year until we decided to go to Thailand. And yeah, I just brought it with me to Thailand and got some good use out of it. And I actually really enjoyed it. So I thought it's only right if I'm going to get a new camera to also upgrade and get a gimbal along with that as well. So yeah, let's dive into the box of the 14140 zoom lens. So there's a cap, a lens cap. I'm assuming that's what this is. I think that's called the lens cap anyway. I don't actually know what that's called. And this looks like it is the lens. So that looks like the lens cap, but yeah. Ooh, look at that. Now I decided to get this lens because when you actually start looking at the price of lenses, you will realize they are very expensive. This cost me 500 pounds, which again, I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to purchase one as well. The fact that it is a 40 millimeter lens means that it's got quite good close up capabilities. And also the fact that it is a zoom lens means that I can't get those really far distant shots. So it kind of covers me for quite a few different aspects of shooting with just one lens. Let's see what else is in the box a little bag i guess and of course an instruction manual which probably won't get read because why use instructions when you can use youtube so yes there you guys have it that was the unboxing of my unboxing unboxing of my brand new camera and the lens that I got with it as well. Please let me know in the comment section below what other kind of content you want me to start producing. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and also press the bell button to get notified because if you don't press that button, I'll post a video and you might miss it and that would be terrible news. But as always, thank you for watching and I shall see you guys in the next one.